you are provided with aqueous sulfuric six acid labeled solution a solution b containing 10.4 grams per liter of potassium carbonate uh, this information is very important so this one means it is 10.4 grams per liter very important of potassium carbonate and uh, then this one is for the next one so you are required to determine the concentration of a uh, procedure one using a measuring cylinder place 25 centimeters cube of solution a into a 250 ml volumetric flask add distilled water to make uh, 250 centimeters of a uh, cube of solution label this solution C place solution C in a puree using a pipette and a pipette filler place 25 centimeters cube of solution B into a conical flask add two drops of methyl orange indicator provided and they date with solution C record the results in the table i have already recorded the results i hope and i know you know how to fill this table it is important you consider or you ensure that the decimal point is one you use one or two consistently but it is okay for you, you to use one the arithmetic you could subtract here uh, 9.5 minus 0 so you should ensure here everything is written correctly however what's happening here and so we have started revising for 2024 exams. In fact, it is important you start earlier. Ukengoja, kuje kwanza September, you will lose hope. So what is happening here? We are taking 25 centimeters cube of solution A, diluting it in our 250 volumetric flask and forming a solution 250 centimeters cube of solution C. Solution C is a solution of A. The difference is that it has been diluted. A is sulfuric acid. Very good. So is A, which is sulfuric acid, uh, now we are going to use our C. C, sulfuric acid diluted. It's going to react with B. And what is B? B is potassium carbonate. So this is a carbonate with an, uh, with an acid. You should know that equation, how to write that reaction. It is a base. Uh, a carbonate plus an acid. So let us go to the question. Calculate the average. So average, you just write 9.5 plus 9.4 plus 9.4 divided by 3, which is equal to 9.4 the average is always given to two decimal places. The average makes sure you always give to two decimal places. Uh, question two, calculate the concentration. The question starts here. Calculate the concentration of potassium carbonate in solution B. So we want now to calculate the concentration of solution B. What, con what do we have about solution B? Solution B contains 10.4 grams in one liter. So there, is, there are three very important uh, triangles in titration. So I want to use this one. We have one here. Remember concentration in moles per liter is what we call morality. It is important to know what is morality. Morality is the number of moles per liter. The number of moles in 1,000 centimeters cube of solution is called morality and is called concentration in moles per liter. So this one is the same as concentration, concentration, in moles per liter. 
So whenever you are asked to calculate concentration in moles per liter, it is exactly equal to morality. So now I have a, a table here. So that say that morality is equal to, so from here, morality is equal to mass in grams per liter divided by RFM. We want to calculate the morality or the concentration in moles per liter of potassium carbonate. Potassium carbonate is written as K to CO3. That is very important. You should know how to write the chemical formulas. If you make a mistake, it means you are going to get the wrong RFM. So you have been given the relative atomic mass carbon is this, oxygen is 16, potassium is this. So what you do, you just add potassium, that is 39, times 2 plus carbon, which is 12, plus uh, 16, times 3, which is 48, and it will give us a total of 138 and that is the RFM of potassium carbonate. Now because to kuna RFM uh, of potassium carbonate, taki to nataka morality is equal to mass in grams per liter of RFM. We were given the mass of potassium carbonate in grams per liter. So we just bring it here. And say now morality is going to be mass which is 10.4 divided by 138 and this one gives us 0 0.075 for capital M. Capital M stands for morality and the morality is the number of moles in in one liter. Question 3. Calculate the concentration of sulfuric acid in solution C. In other words, what is missing here, concentration is in moles per liter. That's very important information that is missing here. So calculate the morality of solution C. So to tap the morality of solution C, once to your solution C, it react na potassium carbonate. To share the moral, uh, morality of potassium carbonate. So what happened to the answer? First, write the equation of the reaction that took place. The reaction was between potassium carbonate which is now solution C, solution A, B, so, reacting with sulfuric acid, solution C, very important to note. So this one will form potassium sulfate plus carbon 4 plus water. Right? We don't care about writing the the what? The status first. What we want is to write an equation that is balanced. Because above kuna, there is a relationship between this and this. So we need to check. Is the equation balanced? If the equation is balanced, that's okay. The equation is balanced. It means the number of moles that reacted with the number of moles of potassium carbonate that reacted with sulfuric acid are equal. So we start here. What we know, we know uh, the morality of this one. We know the volume of solution B that was used. So the mole, the solution B, you were told that using a pureed pipette, 25 of solution B, we know the volume of solution B that was used. Well, right, that one we know. So, but what we know is that morality is the number of moles in what? In a thousand, therefore, this moles here, 0 0.0754 is the number of moles where in a thousand centimeters cubed. Because I have told you morality is the number of moles in a liter. A liter is equal to a thousand centimeters cubed. So to now raise a J, what was the volume of B? Remember this is solution B. What was the volume of B that we used? We used only 25 centimeters cube. Will it be how many moles? So that one will be 25 times 0, 0. 0.0754. You divide by a thousand. This one will give us a 0. 0. 0. 0.0018. 8, 8, 5. So this is the number 
of moles of potassium carbonate that reacted with sulfuric acid this volume. Remember the volume of sulfuric acid, uh, the solution C is 9.43. So 25 centimeters cube of B potassium carbonate reacted with 9.43 solution C sulfuric acid. Very good. So now here we are here. The mole ratio here is 1 to 1. Kwa sababu kiangalia hapa ni 1 hapa ni 1. So the mole ratio is 1 to 1. Meaning that the number of moles of potassium carbonate will be equal to the number of moles of sulfuric acid C. Solution C. Very nice. So moles. Moles. Of C. Which is sulfuric acid. Will be equal to this. Because the ratio is 1 to 1. So it will be 0 0.001885 moles. Very important. Now the next thing we know is that the volume of C that reacted with the B is the volume is 9 point the average 9.43. This is the volume 9.43. So we ask that this number of moles, 9.43 centimeters cube, solution C contains 0 0.001885 moles. The question asks us concentration in moles per liter. In other words, they are asking for morality. So what do you do? You ask morality is the number of moles in a thousand. You ask here a thousand, which is a liter centimeters cube solution C will contain how many moles now that one will be a thousand will be a thousand times 0 0.001885 you divide it by 9.43 right and this one gives us Uh, zero will be zero point one nine 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 more. So this is the number of moles of solution C in a thousand. In this question, the some the only thing that is missing here is concentration in moles per liter. Concentration in moles per liter. Concentration in moles per liter. Remember that. So let us look at the last question. The last question asks us to calculate the concentration of sulfuric acid in solution A. Remember solution A is the original sulfuric acid. We took 25 centimeters cube of A to kaiweka kwa volumetric flask to ka add water ikafika 250 centimeters cube to kaita iyo solution C. Ni sulfuric acid lakini yenye tulitoa kwa A but iko diluted. So, so what is very important here is for you to know that the number of moles in 250, the number of moles in 250 centimeters cube solution C will be exactly the number of moles in 25 centimeters cube solution A. Did you get that? Let me repeat that. Very important. The number of moles in 250 centimeters cube, the diluted solution C, will be exactly equal to the number of moles in 25 centimeters cube of solution A, the one we diluted. So that is very important. But from here, we know that the number of moles of solution C in 9.5 is this one. Fine, if we even know the morality, so we can use N. So we are going to say that, now let us get the number of moles of solution C in 250. We will just use this one here, that nine, 0.4 three centimeters cube solution C as how many moles? 0 0.001 right? 8.85 so this is the number of moles of solution C in the line so we will just ask 250 centimeters cube C will contain how many? That is 250 times 0 0.001885 
we divide by 9.43 and this one will give us 0 0.04997 moles so this is the number of moles in 250 solution C 250 and number of moles in 250 centimeters solution, the number of moles in 250 centimeters cube solution C will be exactly be the number of moles in 25 So to give you information, So it means that 25 centimeters cube of solution A moles is easy. Is this one. So, so 25 centimeters cube solution a sulfuric acid contains which moles this one saying is equal to 250 solution c 0 0.04497 so concentration in moles per liter is the number of moles in a liter in a thousand so we will ask uh, if 25 is that a thousand a liter centimeters cube a will contain how many moles so we will have 1000 times 0 0.04997 we divide it by 25 and this one will give us 1.999 more this is the morality of solution a the, the original sulfuric acid.